Hello everybody and welcome to Two Point Hospital. Today I'm going to be starting a new adventure. We are going to be opening up our hospital. Yep, that's right. I'm going to be opening up a hospital. This is going to be fantastic. All the guests run away now, go to another hospital because mine is going to be an absolute disaster. But I'm excited to do it. So Two Point Hospital is a game where we basically have to make our own hospital, look after the patients and hopefully not kill people. So um, let's get into it. We're going to click start new game and... Uh, at Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. <laughs> our precisely calibrated equipment oh is my goodness. by compassionate healthcare practitioners, <laughs> many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. Oh my goodness. We're building a brighter, safer This looks amazing. And hardly anything will stand in That's going to be my hospital. You deserve the best. Yep. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, <laughs> and a new you. <laughs> Can I go play golf? <laughs> I'm teeing off at three. Oh, yes, that's what a hospital is going to be like. So it looks absolutely amazing. I was a big fan of Theme Hospital way back. And um, yeah, this is kind of where we start our journey. Welcome to Two Point County. I'm Albert Crank. I'll be your trusty advisor on this journey. All right, Albert, this is Hogspot. And here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. All right, well, this is where we start. We start in Hogspot. And uh, this is our hospital. And it's uh, zero stars, and that's probably what it's going to be stuck at for a while. Hogspot, bring your career as a hospital administrator. Learn the basics of the job by establishing your first hospital. So today's video, we're going to be starting on this level. Hopefully, we can become a, a master. We can turn this place around. It's, uh, it's lacking. Welcome to Two Point County. Are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients or killing them? Or probably killing them. I'm liking this music. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right, we got 200k in the bank. Reputation is halfway. People are like, it's a new guy, but he might kill us. They're a bit on the fence, do you know what I mean? First things first, you probably want to have a look around. Uh, move around W, A, S, D. Middle mass, we'll zoom in. Can adjust the pitch. We can, we can do bits and bats. Okay, easy controls. I like it. The first thing the hospital needs is a reception where people complain, where people are like, hurry up, I need fixing. Then they lose the temper a little bit. This is this is basically the worst job in the world is the receptionist. It just is. But let's try and make it a nice, pleasant area for wh whoever actually becomes a receptionist. Click on that and blow and select the reception. Items and reception. Wow, wow, wow. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, rotate the item. Hold left mouse button, click drag. Wow! Cool. Um, use the. E okay, okay, okay. Place item, left mouse click, cancel. All right. Should we do it like there? <laughs> just, as, just as somebody comes in, they bang at the reception. How about? I'm taking this music though. This music is so sick. Maybe we have the reception here, and then like seat in this side. What do you think, guys? Because, like, people have probably put it here and then people can walk left or right. I'm going to be awkward. I'm going to put it, like, here. <laughs> oh, that's a bit... Um, uh, I, I wanted to put it in the middle, but I've done it, I did it wrong. Oh, well, no. Great. We'll need a receptionist to run the reception. Uh, let's hire one now. Click on the hire button and select assistance. Hire. Polly Curves. Magnus Pugwash. Cat Strong. What are these names? Uh, Annabelle Glaston, Tig Woodwind, or uh, Clementine Gob. I'm just kind of going to be hiring people on the greatness of the name. She's got four star, however, she's quite pricey. She's got a cool name, but she's only two star. No sleeping in the, no sleeping in the corridors. Uh, she's got great... Okay, I might go for her. She, uh, he, him, sorry, him, sorry. Because she's good, but she's way expensive. You know what I mean? We're going to get Clementine Gob. We're going to hire him. It's like, it's a... Uh, employment reference will work for Peanut, so it's cheap. But he's afraid of ladies. <laughs> Wait, what? Uh, a means to an end positive charm. I don't know about this one. Nasty. It upsets other people. Plottering second... Wait, I okay, I'm just going to go for this guy. He seems alright. He's afraid of ladies. That's the only downside. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Let's put you... 
There we go. Now get behind there, mate. Oh, look at him. He's well happy. Great. Before we open, we need a GP's office. Patients will visit a doctor working as a general practitioner uh, each stage of diagnosis. The GP will assess patients and decide if they require treatment or if they require further diagnosis. Now, let's build the GP office. To build a room, click on the rooms. Blah, blah, blah. I can figure it out, guys. I'm a, I'm a smart chappy. So... Wow, wow, wow. Oh, where's the music gone? This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. This is Ricky Hawthorne. Why is this? Talk, music, and news to the whole of Two Point County. Why is this and if you're listening to us from the newly <laughs> opened hospital, just turn up that volume because nothing drowns out the sound of sick people like the voice of a world class DJ. <laughs> up next, 42 hours of music from the background band. Enjoy! <laughs> 42 hours. Oh my goodness, this game's amazing. All right, cool. We got our own radio station. We'll put the desk in the middle. We're gonna put a filing cabinet there. And click the green tick. There we go. Lovely carpet. Excellent, now we need a doctor. Okay, this is where we choose like a terrible doctor. Polly Caves, such a nice name. I mean, she sleeps on the floor. She's hangry. Will work for peanuts. Magnus Pug Pugwash, the boy next door can't even. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ties easily. In the event of a fire, please run for your lives. <laughs> <laughs> this game's actually hilarious. Uh, Alright, we're gonna go for this guy. I'm going cheap and cheerful. Get in there! Help some people! Good news! I was putting out for business. Patients are starting to arrive. After they register a reception, they'll be sent to the GP for diagnosis. Good! Bring them in! Ah, oh, Zooming and rotating. Okay, I know all about that. Let's keep an eye on the first patient so their head for diagnostics with the GP. <laughs> Everyone seems like <laughs> fed up. <laughs> uh, all right, well, is my thing just to look around? Pitch the camera. There we go. All right, we've done all that. Now we just need to diagnose our patient. And speaking of patients, here he comes. What seems to be the problem, mate, apart from his terrible um, outfit? Here he goes. He's like, hey, I'm, uh, I'm sick. My leg's falling off. And he's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, mate. Body it. Go seek doctor. He's like, all right. Herbert Brass. He's off to seek doctor. Look, she's well impatient. Come in. Oh, hey there, Polly. Um, uh, take a seat, please. Uh, yes, so, uh, my leg's falling off and, uh, it, yeah. Go see take these pills. All right, thanks, Polly. All right, that's what we've done. Um, looks like we need to be at the pharmacy. T told you, they're just going to give him some pills. Build a pharmacy and hire a nurse. All right, rooms, pharmacy. Let's put it next door. Three by three again. Door in the middle. Pill machine. Uh, it's a drug mixer. Right, we need to hire a nurse. Okay, we need to take it. Wait, there's nobody in there yet. Oh my goodness, this guy. Oh, where do we go for? Meh. Nurse to the pharmacy. Nurse to the pharmacy, please. Uh, thrives when falling from great heights. What about this one? Cheese for brains, motivated, hygienic, and believes Amy will. I'm gonna hire this guy. He seems like he knows what he's doing. <laughs> Not really. We just walked out to walk back in again. <laughs> oh. I've been humming that tune to myself all week, which is uncanny because I've never heard it before. <laughs> or have I? <laughs> well, more catchy music coming right up. Oh my goodness, this music's amazing. Look at the pills, girl! I didn't know this was a thing. There we go. I'm gonna about to cue my first patient, guys. This is exciting. It's like, yeah, she had the, uh, the pills spin about and then they work. And it's like, oh, he's grout. What did this guy have? Well done. We've cured our first patient. We've earned some money and the hospital's reputation improved, which will attract more patients. When a doctor or nurse treats patients, their ability and the influence will chance success. Uh, okay, cool. So basically, curing patients is good. Yay, look at him. He's well happy with himself. All right, mate. Press the button. Spinny things. Right, what's up with this guy? I don't actually know what's up with him. Channel is a maintenance. Now that we've got some expensive machinery, we should think about looking after it. Machines will deteriorate with use and we'll need... Uh, so basically, we just need to hire some guys. Oh, we need some... We need some items. We need, like, benches and stuff. People are just waiting around. This is not good. Look, let's just... Let's just 
stick up there you go. Oh, let's just make this place look really nice and fancy. Let's put a bin there. There needs to be a bin by reception, obviously. Uh, and we could even put a leaflet stand somewhere. Here we go. They could, look, he's going to go for his... Oh, no, he's not going for the leaflet. There's so much stuff happening. This is great. We're just queuing everybody. All right. What do we need to do? We need to hire some janitors, I believe. Here we go. So we got Clive Lips, who's um, is great, but he's, he's 20 grand. I'm going to go for the cheap guy. You got me. <laughs> he can, he can, you know, he can be better. Place two fire extinguishers. He can train up, all right. Fire extinguisher here. Fire extinguisher. Yeah, sure, there. There we go. Janitors will be called to repair machines. Okay, I didn't even read that. Basically, it says janitors will repair machines. This guy's literally just doing nothing. <laughs> He's just walking around going, clean. Important to keep your staff and patients happy to ensure that Rosper runs smoothly. The patients get a bored face and hungry over time. Make sure they have access to entertainment, food, and drinks, comfy seat. Uh, all right. Do we need a waiting area then? Okay, we're going to build a waiting area. We're going to build a waiting area here. Let's do it. So, I reckon if we do a bench, a bench, and a bench, and like, same here. And this is what you always see at hospitals, like, bench just flipped around. And then, like, they'll have, like, a, a TV on the wall. Wait, we can't, can we not even get, I don't think we can even, we can even get TVs. We'll put a stack machine here, <laughs> cheesy gubbins. <laughs> and we'll put a drinks machine. Wait, we can't put it there, Oh. Okay, this could be the vending machine corner. So we haven't got a TV, but we can, we can put a, we We'll put a plant there. There we go. It's such a nice, a nice little homely place. Now, look. Staff and energy break. Staff will get tired as they will. They'll eventually go on breaks. The staff room will help them relax and return home. Uh, return to work energized. Drinks and snacks will keep them happy too. Uh, if you make a large room fill it with interesting items, it will be considered more prestigious. People using high prestigious rooms will become happier. Staff room unlocked. Oh, my goodness. I didn't even... Uh, I need to properly, like, plan out this place, don't I? I feel like I'm just going to run out of room here. All right, let's put a staff room. Let's put it well away from the, the patients, the complaining patients. Let's just make a big... <laughs> make the staff room like this big. <laughs> we'll, make a, we'll make a decent size one, you know what I mean? It's a level two. Look at this. All right, let's put a put a TV in there. We'll put an Xbox in there. It's going to be great. Got a locker in there. Uh, nice armchair. Do we want windows? Do we want to see the patients? Okay, we'll put a couple in. Put a drinks machine in there. Put a snack machine in there. We're all about that looking after our, you know, looking after our, our employees. Today, conditions at the Rotting Hill Hospital are getting worse every day. Apparently, patients are just as likely to die from sinkholes and crumbling ceilings as any diseases. Stop. At least that'll keep the queues down. <laughs> That's not my hospital. My hospital's going great. Look, we've got no people waiting. The janitor doesn't even know what day it is. What is he even supposed to be doing? Charlie work. Drinks and snacks are great for people who have it, but they can lead to littering. If there are no bins nearby, well... Okay. Toilets unlocked. Oh my goodness, I forgot about toilets. <laughs> right, we need bins, though. We need bins near there. We could do with some toilets, couldn't we? Okay, we'll put the toilets near the bins. Okay. Um, how do I, how do I get rid of stuff now? Oh, no. How do I delete? Game, you didn't tell me how to delete. There we go. Right, toilets can be back here, I reckon. So rooms, toilets. There we go. One door there. Wait, is it just, oh, we can just cram it full of toilets, can't we? Look at this. <laughs> toilets for days. I have the best toilets ever. Janet's will empty bins and lock toilets when required. This is much better than having to sweep up litter and, and um, other waste. <laughs> Nobody got time for that. that type of waste. Should we even put some, like, plants in here? For the diagnosis, we need some reports of new illnesses in town. These might be added to the diagnosis. We may need to build a new diagnosis room if a GP isn't certain. They'll send a patient for further diagnosis. All right. General diagnosis. Unlocked. I'm running out of rooms here. Actually, I was going to say I'm running out of room, but I've got plenty of room. Okay, rooms, general diagnosis. 
As you expand the hospital with more rooms and staff, the hospital level increases, the large hospital attracts more patients. It's, we should just stick as a small hospital then, to be honest, shouldn't we? Okay, I don't know if I'm making these way too big. Okay, let's just keep these small for now. Just in case. Just in case this hospital, like, you know, gets a little bit mental and it, it just becomes really big. Alright, I guess we need... Uh, who do we need for this then? Who do we need for this place? Is it Doctor? Okay. Oh my goodness. Why did it cancel it? Oh, I didn't, didn't take it, did I? Oops. Derp. Herp a derp. Okay, we got... Uh, here we go. Door there. That goes there. That goes there. We we'll put a tick in it. I don't guess we need we need to hire someone for this. So, assistance. Do we need assistance? Nurses, doctors. Who needs to be in this room? Confused. Required nurse. There we go. Thank you for telling me, game. Hire nurse. Arthur Lemon. Tiffany Infinity. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for her. Get in there, love. Do your job. Be a good egg. I'll put a plant in there. It'd be nice. Should we put a plant in the toilet as well? There we go. Plants everywhere. Everybody needs a plant. Makes the rooms feel nicer, I feel like. No, we'll put some... Put some... Let's just make it a very green hospital. <laughs> There's plants everywhere. Look at this. We got patients queuing up. Um, We've got the janitor just still literally doing nothing. He is a waste. I don't know why we even have him here. <laughs> He's walking around in his pink, pink, pink trainers doing nothing. Pick up... Fire, take a break, pay review jobs. Um, I don't know what he's there for, to be honest. I literally don't know what this guy's there for. What a smashing day for a bit of gardening. I mean, who doesn't like gardening? I do. Taking up a bit of soil, sticking your hands in a bit of manure. Oh, I can almost smell it now. <laughs> no, wait. The sewage pipes burst again. <laughs> <laughs> no, my mistake. Anyway, keep those fingers green. In the event of an epidemic, what is this radio? Energy, 23%. What does he need? I don't know what this guy needs. I think he needs a break. He's off to the staff room. Ward locked. Oh, my goodness. Do we build a ward then? Doctor required a GP's office. Oh, the particular illness in town, lightheadedness. We're going to need some... Expensive new equipment to deal with this. Continue expanding the hospital to unlock the treatment room. We may also know the GP's office. Uh, some of the taff, uh, some of the taps, some of the staff look tired. Yeah, we need a doctor. Now. I'm gonna have to hire another doctor. I reckon hire doctors. Let's hire an expensive one. You get in there. You could do some work. All right. This guy needs to chill out. Look, he needs a break. He's absolutely exhausted. Um, let's start building our ward. So. I don't know how big this needs to be. I'm kind of running out of room here. <laughs> okay, we're going to put it like there. Okay, the ward is going to go there and like this. How many beds can I fit in? Oh my, I'm just like cramming beds in. There we go, we got ourselves a ward. There's four beds. Wards can be used for diagnostic and also treat a range of illnesses. A nurse is required to admit each patient. Look after them and discharge them when they're ready to leave. And multiple beds to the ward that can deal with more patients' care. We need to hire another nurse. Oh my goodness. Um, Mert Barnacle. You're hired. Get in there. Well done. The hospital level has increased. Expanding. Oh, keep expanding to attract more patients. Why did I leave a gap here? I'm just kind of wasting space right now, aren't I? All right. We need to increase... Don't forget to tip your, <laughs> tip your doctor. We need to build another GP's office. Uh, rooms. GP's. There we go. Squiddy's Hospital is literally just amazing right now, isn't it? Although, I feel like I'm going to be running out of room. Do I, I'm going to cram one in here. We're going to have to. We're literally going to have to. Filing cabinet. And don't forget, a plant. There we go. Good stuff. We did it. Unlock Deluxe Clinic. Earn 15 grand. <gasps> Come on, guys. Everybody stick in there. Why is the toilets bigger than the ward? <laughs> what have I done? Why have I made the toilets more of a priority than the ward? What is life right now? I can't believe I've done that. And the staff room's bigger than everything combined. Look at the state of this place. <laughs> New illness. Bed face discovered. Mystery guts. What is this? Our dogs have discovered a new illness, bed face. Quite an alarming 
contortion of the face caused by sleeping at a strange angle. Doctors recommend always using a bed protractor to monitor your sleeping angles. Uh, what's this? Guts, dis uh, mis misery guts. Chronic grumpiness due to inhalistic semicolon. Oh my goodness. Great. I like it. Well, we can't really do much else. We just got to kind of wait. As of now, we've done pretty well. I'm liking it. Now we just kind of sit back and let our hospital make some money. Very good. Oh, we already done it. What the heck? Deluxe clinic. What is this? What? What about where am I supposed to put this? Okay, let's. Oh, he messed it up. There we go. Is that good? Okay, let's put a door here. Oh, look at this. Okay, uh. Yeah, why not? Is that it? Who needs to run this then? Who do we need to run this? I do not know. This this deluxe clinic looks. It looks pretty crazy, though, doesn't it? Look at the state of it. What? Why is there a? Why is it like a one of the uh, grabbing machines, them toy grabbing machines, n next to where somebody's gonna be sitting? Who do we need for this? Doctor. Man, I can't wait to see this in use. This is gonna be crazy. Let's go for Ned Sandals. Oh, he's fifty-three. Let's go for Mr. Duckworth. He looks like the type of guy to operate this kind of machine, doesn't he? <laughs> Yo, this guy's got a light bulb head. Uh -huh. Hey, <laughs> this guy's like, oh, you see, your problem is, doctor. <laughs> I've got a light bulb for me head. She's like, it's common. It's proper common. Oh, wait, this must be the light headedness. How could he cough? He has no mouth. Okay. Well, oh, do I get to see it in use? Is he going to unscrew the light bulb? <gasps> oh, this could be it. Oh my goodness, we get oh we get to see Dr. Duckworth in action. Right, mate, you sit down there and I'm gonna screw your head. This is literally gonna happen, isn't it? <laughs> what is this game? <laughs> I have no words. I have no words to describe what I've just seen. Wait, what? Oh, what's up with him? Treatment failed board. Oh, We'll get you, mate. We'll get you Randy Biggles. You just get unchanged and we'll uh, sort you out. Looks like Stampy. <laughs> oh, wait. Is he all right now? He's got changed to his normal clothes. Oh, no. Randy Biggles. The treatment's failed. What, so he's just going to go? We can't fix Randy? Plants need water. Where's my janitor? The plants need watering. Oh, Randy's going. No, Randy. Oh, well, he'll be back. <laughs> I love the difference. This guy and then this guy just strolling about. All right. Um, the plants need watering. Janitor. Janitor. Not you. Oh, my goodness. This is why you shouldn't put this many plants in here. The janitor has literally got to water like 20 plants in this place. He might as well be working at a, uh, a garden center. <laughs> so I pinched a really bug sitting in this when Simon. We don't have any entertainment in this place. I don't think. Do we have any entertainment? What do we have? I put some uh, leaflets down, but that's all I have. There's no option for a TV or anything. One more lightheadedness guy's come in, which we can we, we can cure him. We have the equipment now. Look at this guy's loving life. <gasps> Dude, did we get the janitor on this? Yeah, we did. That's all good. Janitor's going actually mental. He's, he's actually working for once. This guy's like, yeah, I've got a light. Yeah, I, can see, I can see that bit. Go get fixed. You don't even need to sit down. I can see you've got a light bulb on your head. Here we go. This is the last one we need to complete it. Come on, Duckworth. You know what to do. He's well happy. He's like, I get to pull the lever again. Now you sit there. I'm going to unscrew your head. And pop you a new one back on. Here we go. New head back on. She's well happy. Here we go. We got a letter. Yay, we have one star. Dear hospital administrator, a.k.a. me. Congratulations, your hospital has been awarded a one star rating. That's one out of a possible three by the two point health ministry. I have retrieved your file from my bin to celebrate. Continue to develop your enterprise in Hogsport for further esteem and trinkets. If you believe that you are capable of more, 
Oh, yeah, if you keep... Okay, I'm right. Yeah, that's fine, Squid. I read that correctly. Alternatively, run before you can walk and begin to expand your organization by opening a new hospital in Lower Bullocks. The choice, as they say, is yours. From Tarquin Foxbridge, the health minister. Um, What do we do, guys? I, c I could go on for a bit more. Or we could head to a new hospital. But I might save that for next episode, guys, because... We have just about run out of time, and I just wanted to kind of show you guys Two Point Hospital and what it was all about. If you want me to do more on this, I'll make it into a series then. Let me know, show some love by leaving a like, and also leave some nice comments. And uh, yeah, if you want more, I will do more. But thank you so much for watching, and also thank you for being a great patient in today's Two Point Hospital video. My name is Beast Kadoole. See you in the next one. Bye!